thought for the day. Visualization is daydreaming with a purpose. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we explore the power of visualization. Have a listen. If you expect to achieve your goals, if you expect to reach your potential, if you expect to have your dreams come true, what I'm about to explain to you is mission critical. You must become a master at visualization. Now, for those of you that are like, what the heck is she talking about? I did not sign up for some sort of meditation, woo-woo, spiritual thing here. Don't worry, this is Mel Robbins. There's always science and research involved in everything that I talk about. So visualization is a extraordinarily powerful skill. And you may have heard of the law of attraction, You may have heard of the word visualization. You may have heard of the word manifesting. I call it um, seeing signs. So I'm a master at seeing positive signs. I am a master of creating coincidences. I have the world's most incredible luck. You wanna know why? Because I understand the science and the skill of visualization. I know that your brain It is a gigantic detective machine. Your brain is a filter. Your brain is constantly looking for evidence. And that's good news. It's good news when you know how to use it to your advantage. Let me explain. So your brain has a system in it. Here's the technical term. It's called the reticular activating system. It is a network of neurons all up in here. And what is the job of the reticular activating system? It is a filter system. It's basically a system that allows certain information in your brain and it blocks out other information. And guess who programmed that filter? You did. And so did the people from your past. And so if you constantly feel like you're unlovable, guess what? Your reticular activating system is going through the day and it is going to point out every single piece of evidence that confirms that negative belief that you have. If your goal is to improve your self-worth, I want you to visualize what your life looks like and how you're going to feel about yourself when your self-worth has improved. Here's how you're gonna do it. So there's two things that you have to do when it comes to visualization. You have to close your eyes. Truly, I know it sounds stupid, but I want you to close your eyes and I want you to, in your mind, have a specific picture of what it looks like in your life when your self-worth has improved. You're gonna see yourself speaking up at work. You're gonna see yourself talking more about your business. You're gonna see yourself leaving bad relationships. You're gonna see yourself defining boundaries. You're gonna see yourself going to the gym. You're gonna see yourself uh, taking care of yourself. And when you start to visualize the image of that, I want you to consciously, this is step two, Consciously think of the positive emotions that you're gonna feel. I'm gonna feel happy. I'm gonna feel proud. I'm gonna stand taller. I'm going to be so grateful that I made this change. Marrying the, the specific picture, oh, there I am, there I am. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at work and I'm raising my hand. Amazing, I'm sharing my idea. There I am, I'm getting a promotion. There I am, asking for a raise. There I am, I've just signed up another customer to my business. There I am, I've gone back to school. I feel so good about myself. When you do that, here's what's actually happening in your brain. This is the cool science part. You are training your brain to have a totally different filter. 
You see, your brain, my brain, it doesn't know the difference between something that actually happened to you, like the F you got in your test in 10th grade, and the things you imagine that are happening to you. Let me say that again. Your brain doesn't know the difference between the bad things that actually happen to you, the real memories that you have, and an imagined memory that you're creating. Your brain will experience you visualizing going to the gym, you visualizing how happy you feel when you do, you visualizing asking for that raise and getting it and how proud you're going to feel. Your brain, when you visualize in the way that I'm teaching you to, it, it encodes it as a real memory. And that's important because when you encode it as a real memory, it changes the filter system, that reticular activating system. And here's what we know based on research. The more you visualize things, number one, the greater your confidence is going to be, the greater security you're going to have about it. And here's the really cool thing. The more you do this with your goals, you wake up every day and you just visualize for it takes 30 freaking seconds for crying out loud. You visualize having a great day at school. You visualize curing your panic and how proud you're going to be. What studies suggest and have proven is that simply visualizing yourself doing things actually develops the skill and helps you improve the skills just as if you were actually doing it. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.